So I just got into my room and I must say, in the words of Bobby Green, with Mackenzie Dern at the weigh-ins. Had ice cream in a while. She looks fantastic. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> wow. So once you step in, the bathroom is to the right, but I'm gonna get that later on. I'm just gonna go straight into the living room. So you got your big mirror right here. If you look at the fit, you're ready for the nightlife. And right here in the entertainment area, first you got the 55 inch Samsung HD TV. And I like how all the colors blend in and you can kind of think that this is actually a mirror, like how I did when I was staying at the Cromwell. You also have a Courage coffee maker, so you don't have to go down to Starbucks and get some coffee. Then right over here, you got your mini bar, you got your salsa water, you got your alcohol, then you got bottles of water, coffee, chips. I see they have a rescue kit. I'm guessing that a whole bunch of band-aids and whatnot. And then you got your intimacy kit. They also have four drawers. And if you're looking for the mini bar fridge, it's on the right side. Open them up, and there's your drinks right there. But it's the same as other hotels, the mini bar and the drinks. You pull it out, you have about 30 seconds to either put it back or take it. Because when, when that 30 seconds is up, it's going to charge to your room. And then right here is your work area. You got four nice Japanese paintings, drawings that goes real well with the room. I also want them right here on the right side. So a big lamp, standing tall lamp on the corner. And then you have a chill area right here. You got your couch, fits four people. Got your little table right here with a magazine. And you got this king size bed right here with four pillows. It looks really comfortable. So I'm really looking forward to sleeping on this bed tonight. And the other side you have a counter with a lamp on it also. And I see on each side of the bed, they have two charging stations. One is a plug and the other one's a USB. And then right here is the closet. You got hangers, ironing board, iron. And you got some clothes cleaners. I guess you bring it to the cleaners or something, but I probably won't need that. They also safe right here, two drawers. And I see they got two slippers. But I guess over here you call it flip flops but in Hawaii you call them slippers. And there's also a big box right there. I don't know what that big box is for or what's in it, but I would love to find out. You know what? I'm gonna find out right now. I'm gonna get this box right here. Pretty sure this is empty, but see what's in it? Eh, it's empty. I guess if put certain stuffs that are really nice, maybe a high-end stuff, put it in here instead of hanging it to keep it, yeah. All right, continue. Now the area to me, the one that I was really looking forward to, is the bathroom. I like this mirror right here, two sides, lights, it's really bright, brightens up the whole room, including the lights up on the ceiling. And you got this sink right here that's really deep. It's really deep enough to where if you got an infant or a kid and you got no tub to give them a bath, give them a bath right here in the sink. It's really deep. <laughs> Just a thought. Right here they got your vanity kit, detox body balm. I guess you put it on the face, I guess it was lotion. Two glasses, I don't know what it is for, and bar of soap. It's got your towel. And if you're looking for a hair dryer, they have a hair dryer down there. I like these dark tiles on the wall, even the grout is dark. And man, this shower is really nice. And I guess right there is the handle for the on and off, and the top handle, I guess it switches to overhead or handle. And like any other Caesar property that you forgot your soap, shampoo, whatever, Noble's got you. They got bath foam, conditioner with shampoo, and a bar of soap. And right here is a makeup station for all you ladies that want to get ready for the nightlife in Vegas. Look for that guy from Pressure Man. And I like this shelf right here. It leans on the wall. I'm pretty sure this is screwed in. Oh yeah, it's screwed in. And then I haven't seen this in any other hotel or any other Caesar property that I've been on so far. Or maybe you gotta ask for it, but right here, you got your Noble Hotel bathroom. And you know, I am gonna use it before I check out. And then right here is your toilet. And this one right on top of the toilet is a extra roll of toilet paper that's in the bag. All right, and last but not least, 
My view. Let's see how my view looks. Huh. Wow, I got the view of the strip. There's a flamingo straight ahead. We got the high roll and the link on my left. I got the Cromwell on the right. Yeah, man. Nice view of the strip. Too bad over here is not a balcony, but majority of Vegas, there are no balconies. And if you live in Vegas and you know about Vegas, you know why we don't have any balconies. Okay, so the Nobu is probably the most expensive hotel out of all the Caesar properties. But lucky for me, I got it for only 75 a night, so I had to jump on it so I can do this review for you guys if you guys want to stay at a hotel like this. So the Nobu Hotel, the theme of this hotel is, as you can see, Japanese. As you see from the paintings, the way the furniture is, all the decor, and it's really nice. This is really growing on to me. I'm really liking this hotel so far. And also for getting up here on these floors, these elevators may be confusing to you, but what you gotta do is, so there's a little screen and you put your room key under the sensor and it'll pop up to say which elevator you on. Right now I'm on floor 79, so I just tap the 79 and it shows which elevator you go into, whether it's A, B, or C. And shout out to the ladies in the front desk, they're really nice. And at the Noble, they have their own front desk, so you don't have to go to Caesars. Caesars is, their own thing. Nobu is their own. Even though they're on Caesar's Palace, it's hidden. And if you can't find the Nobu Hotel, it's hidden, but pretty easy. It's right next to the Nobu restaurant. And you see the marble on the wall at the entrance. You can't miss it. So what I heard is on the second floor, they have a lounge area, workout area. So this video, I'm not gonna go walking around like I did in my Caesar's Palace hotel review. If you wanna check that out, go to that one. It's gonna be right over here. So right now I'm gonna go down to the second floor. I'm gonna check out their lounge and their fitness center. So I'm about to go there right now. Let's go. Alright, so I'm right here in the 72nd floor in the lounge area. And right here where I'm at is the hangout area. You got a couch right here that I'm sitting on. You also got two chairs with a table in the middle. You also have a big table with four chairs. That could be your workstation. And if you're thirsty, you got free drinks like this passion orange tea right here, which is really good. If not, you got water with lemon in it. And the other side, I'm guessing is the concierge area or the VIP area, which will help you on activities or stuff that they have at Nobu. And they also have a fitness center, which they have dumbbells, flexible stations, they got your gazelle looking machines, treadmills, bike stations, and you got your pulling weights. And they also have one area where you can just lay down, do some yoga, check yourself in the mirror, and check out your gains. Since I'm over here at the Nobu, I'm not gonna go walk around Caesar's Palace because this is Caesar, but I'm just doing this review over here at the Nobu. So I don't know what I'm gonna do after this. I'm gonna have to find a place to eat. I have to figure out where I'm gonna eat because I'm getting kind of hungry, but I don't know where I'm gonna eat yet. But I think I have a place in mind. I'm gonna go back to my room. Whew. All right, back in the room and get out of here. All right, so I'm back in my room. Just came from the lounge and fitness center and yeah, it's really nice in there. The lounge is pretty cool because it's pretty chill, a little dark, not that bright. It has that kind of vibe, it's pretty cool. And I don't know what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna get me something to eat, just don't know where, and something within my budget. But I'm gonna figure out something, maybe get some dining, or might just get something at the food court, or maybe go to Bacana again, maybe I should, but I'm not sure. But there is a whole lot of variety of restaurants because we're at, technically we're at Caesars, but I'm staying at the Nobu, in the center of Caesars Palace. So I'm just gonna walk around and see what they got to eat, and 
fill myself up. Yo, man, yo, did you feel like eating tonight? Um, I don't know, bro. What you got in mind? Uh, I don't know, bro. Just scrolling, trying to figure which one. Oh, what about this one? What was that? Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. You like? Yeah, Boko. Okay, shoot, I'm a Boko man. Woohoo! All right, yes, sir. So I decided to eat at Beijing Noodle Number Nine. There's a lot of nice designs and a lot of brightness over here. It looks really nice. I like it. Just gotta figure out what I'm gonna eat. I'm not sure. Most likely, I'm gonna lean towards the rice and the noodles. Right now, I think I'm gonna get the fried rice and, as I see, the roast duck. Oh my goodness! I don't know why, but I love duck. I gotta eat duck. Hopefully, the food is great. I'll let you know how it is. So the fried rice I'm getting is $23.99 and the roast duck is $18.99. It's within half of the price range, but I mean, it depends on the portion they give, it will be worth it. We'll see when I get it. So I got my fried rice and the duck just got in. I'm hungry, looking good so far. I'm ready to dive in. I'm gonna try this fried rice first. Like a chicken, beef, pork, egg, all in the rice. You can have a choice, but I just got all of them mixed in. It's a little different from all the fried rices I eat, but this is one of the good ones. Right now, I'm gonna try the duck. Mm. I like the skin crunchy and the duck meat soft. Yummy. All right, so now I'm gonna enjoy my food. Gotta get back to you guys when I'm done. All right, so I just finished my food and food over here is all delicious. Can I stop eating my teeth? Damn, I think I do. Well, yeah, Beijing noodles number five is a really good place to eat within it if it's in your budget. Yeah, so I'm just waiting to get my check. Probably go try some slots. Hopefully, I get lucky and then head up to the room. Oh, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna pay for my meal and walk it out. All right, so I'm back at the room. Beijing noodles number nine is really good place to eat. Right now I'm kind of tired, so I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna enjoy that shower. And I'm definitely gonna enjoy that bed afterwards. And I'll come back tomorrow morning and tell you how I feel about noodles. So far, I'm loving it. So I didn't do much this morning. I just slept in because that bed was really comfortable. And this robe right here is really comfortable. And I also got slippers on. <laughs> but just to let y'all know in advance, the slippers are free, you can take. This robe, you gotta purchase. So don't take the robe, you can take the slippers. All right, so before I check out, I'm gonna go over my pros and cons of the Noble Hotel. So one of the pros is presentation. Then we enter, got that marble lining, the whole design is really awesome. I like the Japanese theme. One of the pros is the front desk. The people at the front desk were really helpful, especially using the elevator, because some people got confused on how to use it. But for me, it's pretty convenient because number one, security. Number two, you're not gonna get crowded in the elevators. It tells you what button to press on what floor you're on, and you can get there easy. You don't get crowded up in the elevator, which is pretty smart. Another pro is, the room. See how nice this room is? <laughs> I like how it brings out the essence of Japan and the Japanese culture from the furniture to every detail decor in the room, the pictures. It's really nice. I really do like it. And also a pro of this place is the lounge. The lounge area makes it seem private and it's just for you. Whether you just want to sit down relax and have a drink of water or the passion fruit tea or you sit on the big table doing your work while you're on vacation. And if you want to burn some calories from all that eating, you can just go to the fitness center. And it's cool because the front desk, they give you a little card for cocktail hour, which is from 3.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. But I won't be here, I will be gone already. So I won't be able to use this. So I might just leave this here for whoever else checks in this hotel. Another pro of this place is the interaction. Whether it be front desk or a worker or housekeeping, they greet you with a good morning and a hello. Which is how it should be because of, you know, hospitality. And now for the cons of this place. The cons. 
I have nothing bad to say about the Nobu because I love it. But maybe for some people, maybe location? Because it's hidden in Caesar's Palace, some people might miss it or walk by it. But just to let you know, the Nobu Hotel is right next to the Nobu Restaurant. And plus they have two dark, bright signs. You can't miss it. If you miss it, that means you got tunnel vision. And another con, um, I don't know if I consider this a con on but maybe i'll say the shower hear me out this is why i say the shower because when you're taking a shower and you're facing the shower head right behind you is the makeup station and there's a big mirror so there'll be some times when you're taking a shower you turn around and you see yourself butt naked <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, man. I get kind of creeped out. This is, I'm not one of those people that turn around and look at myself black. Yeah. But nah, I don't know how you feel about that. Maybe it's good for the couples, you know, shower, looking at the mirror at the makeup station, the intimacy kit. And one con of this place though is price. This hotel is really expensive, as you can see by the presentation and the name of the hotel it's pretty pricey a room like this could price range about maybe 100 to 500 just the standard room the suites are a lot more expensive one day i will stay in one of them suites but unless i hit my parlays or win a big jackpot but otherwise i do that not anytime soon but there are some times where you can get this room for cheap like for this room i got it for 75 a night which i'm just staying for one night and it's a pretty good deal so i have to jump on it i got nothing bad to say or any cons about the noble hotel because i love it which leads to my next question but i recommend you to stay here what do you think <laughs> but now i would definitely come back to the noble hotel and stay here again maybe one day with my family which this size room is really good because you got the couch and you got extra beds and whatnot or maybe when i have a girlfriend one day that's it that day comes but that just about concludes my hotel review on the Noble Hotel. So if you like this video and this video really helps you out on what there is at the Noble Hotel, please like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Eventually after I finish this video or when this video drops, maybe in a couple weeks, I'll do a tier of all the other Caesar properties. The Noble was the last hotel for me to stay at. So I officially stayed at all the Caesar properties in Las Vegas. So I will do a tier list of all the Caesar properties and you're gonna have to check out the video to see the rest of it. So right now I gotta check out really soon. I gotta pack up my things and get out of this robe, which I don't want to because this is really comfortable, but I have to. But like I said, you gotta purchase these. The slippers you can keep, but these you gotta purchase. So once again, this is Manny. Until next time, aloha. I don't want to get it, but this is so comfortable. Whew.